In the crucible of World War II, certain machines emerged not just as weapons, but as symbols of resilience and determination. The Avro Lancaster bomber was one such iconic aircraft. In 1939, Europe stood on the precipice of war. The world had witnessed the devastation of World War I and sought to avoid a repeat. Yet, as tensions grew, it became increasingly evident that conflict was inevitable. The need for a powerful, long-range bomber to deliver a knockout punch to the enemy was paramount. In the midst of this tumultuous time, a brilliant engineer named Roy Chadwick envisioned an aircraft that could change the course of history. Chadwick, working with the British aircraft manufacturer Avro, set out to design an aircraft that could carry a massive payload, endure long missions, and strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. Chadwick's vision took shape in the form of the Avro Lancaster bomber. The Lancaster's design incorporated several groundbreaking features. Notably, it featured a twin-engine setup with four powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, which gave it both the speed and the carrying capacity required for long-range bombing missions. One of the most distinctive features of the Lancaster was its iconic twin-tail fin design, which earned it the affectionate nickname the Double Wasp. This design not only added to its aesthetic appeal but also improved stability and control during flight. The Avro Lancaster's construction was a marvel of engineering. It featured a robust geodesic airframe, similar to the Vickers Wellington. This design made the Lancaster incredibly durable, capable of withstanding considerable damage and still returning safely to base. This legendary toughness endeared the Lancaster to its crews and gave rise to famous quotes, such as, you could fire a Browning through the fuel tank and it wouldn't catch fire. Powered by its quartet of Merlin engines, the Lancaster could reach speeds of up to 280 miles per hour and had a remarkable operational range of over 2,300 miles. This made it ideal for the strategic bombing campaigns that defined the later stages of World War II. The Avro Lancaster entered service with the Royal Air Force in 1942. Its combat debut was marked by daring raids on enemy cities, including Berlin. These early missions showcased the Lancaster's ability to carry heavy bomb loads and strike deep into enemy territory. One of the most famous missions involving the Lancaster was the Dambusters Raid of May 1943. Codenamed Operation Chastise, Lancaster bombers from RAF No. 617 Squadron, led by Wing Commander Guy Gibson, used innovative bouncing bombs to breach dams in Germany's industrial heartland. This mission demonstrated the Lancaster's adaptability and precision. Air Chief Marshal Arthur Harris, RAF Bomber Command, gave his opinion about Wing Commander Guy Gibson's leadership during Operation Chastise. Gibson was the first and last of his kind. Upkeep, a bomb specially designed for the job, thrown accurately from a low level, in darkness, by a skillful pilot, needed something more than scientific precision to deliver it. It needed accuracy based on confidence, and that could only be given to a man of Gibson's type, who went on when others could not, and was capable of deciding with great speed, quickly grasping the essentials of a most complicated technique. The Lancaster's ability to carry heavy bomb loads made it a linchpin of Royal Air Force Bomber Command's strategic bombing campaigns. It played a significant role in the nighttime bombing raids that targeted key industrial and military installations in Nazi-occupied Europe. The Lancaster was primarily deployed in the European theater, where it conducted numerous bombing missions over Germany and other Axis-held territories. Its presence and precision bombing capabilities struck fear into the hearts of the enemy and played a crucial role in the Allied victory. While the Lancaster was most closely associated with the European theater, it also served in the Asia-Pacific theater. Lancasters based in the region were used for strategic bombing campaigns against Japan, including the devastating firebombing raids on Tokyo. The Lancaster quickly became the backbone of Royal Air Force Bomber Command. Its reliability, range, and bomb-carrying capacity made it the go-to choice for strategic bombing missions. The Lancaster had several notable variants. Lancaster BMK-1 was the initial production model, featuring four Rolls-Royce Merlin engines and carrying a bomb load of up to 14,000 pounds. Lancaster BMK-3 featured improved Merlin engines and a slightly modified nose section. It was known for its enhanced performance. Lancaster BMK-7 was optimized for high-altitude bombing and saw service in the later stages of the war. Lancaster BMK-10 variant was specifically designed for maritime reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare. It played a vital role in protecting Allied convoys from German U-boats in the Atlantic. The Avro Lancaster's ability to carry heavy bomb loads with precision was a game-changer. It allowed the Royal Air Force to strike at the heart of the Axis war machine, crippling industrial and military infrastructure. This strategic precision significantly contributed to the eventual defeat of the Axis powers. The Lancaster's nighttime raids instilled fear and uncertainty in the enemy. The eerie hum of approaching Lancasters, followed by the thunderous release of bombs, left an indelible mark on the psychological landscape of the war. As Sir Arthur Harris, the commander-in-chief of Royal Air Force Bomber Command, famously said, The Nazis entered this war under the rather childish delusion that they were going to bomb everybody else, and nobody was going to bomb them. At Rotterdam, London, Warsaw, and half a hundred other places, they put that rather naive theory into operation. 
They sowed the wind, and now they are going to reap the whirlwind. With the end of World War II in 1945, the Avro Lancaster's role as a frontline bomber came to an end. The Lancaster had played a vital part in the Allies' victory, but the world was now entering a new era of aviation, marked by jet propulsion and faster, more advanced aircraft. The Avro Lancaster represented a pinnacle of engineering during its time. Its geodesic construction, powerful engines, and precision bombing capabilities influenced future generations of aircraft design. Many of the technological innovations developed for the Lancaster found their way into subsequent aircraft, shaping the aviation industry for years to come. The Avro Lancaster remains a symbol of Allied unity and determination during World War II. It represents the combined efforts of nations coming together to confront a common enemy. Its legacy serves as a reminder of what can be achieved when people work together in the face of adversity. The Avro Lancaster bomber, born out of necessity and forged in the fires of World War II, stands as a symbol of human ingenuity and resilience. It was more than a machine, it was a beacon of hope in a world torn apart by conflict. The Lancaster's enduring legacy continues to inspire generations and reminds us of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of freedom and peace.